Hey there, welcome back. So let's do another quick video and let's update our inventory capabilities a little bit more. So right now we can craft a health potion and a mana potion but they don't really do anything. So let's make them actually function. Now you might think our mana regenerates, why do we need a mana potion? But let's say your game, you don't want it to be able to regenerate. So for now I'm going to disconnect that so that our mana won't regenerate. I'm gonna go back to my inventory widget, find my health potion, scroll all the way down to it's on clicked. I wanna drag out my player reference, get health potions, make sure it's greater than or equal to one, or you can just do a greater than zero, either way works. Hook that up, and then, as our little safety precaution, just to prevent accidental clicks when you don't need them, let's get health, get our current health, and find out if it's less than our max health. B lift click for a branch. So, if, if our health potion is greater than or equal to one and our current health is less than the max health then we want to drag out our player ref set health potion count get health potion count integer minus integer minus one so we'll set that there then we will set current health to just for our skill tree system instead of making it just a static amount let's go in here add a variable of a float nope don't call it float <laughs> potion or uh, health potion potency and we'll set that to a float and we'll set it what is our health 50 to start with so I'm gonna say 20 so it'll restore 20 health per potion get health potion potency and we'll drag out get current health so we want to get our current health and add to it our health potion potency. That way with our skill tree we can update this to where potions may be more effective and now it heals even more. Then off of our, cur our set current health we want to find out if it's greater than or equal to... I'm going to drag out another player ref just for uh, cleanliness sake. We're going to get my max health if it's greater than or equal to our max health then we want to set our current health to our max health just so it doesn't go over so that should be about all it takes for that so let's try it out real quick I don't have any potions I gotta craft one real quick. Got my plants. Hey, it had a berry. Alright, so I'll craft a potion real quick. My health is already low, so I can just click that. And boom, my health is full and it used our potion. Sweet. Alright. So, just like the health potion potency, we want to duplicate and call it mana potion potency so just in case you don't want your characters to be able to regenerate mana they can do similar to the health potion and on clicked yeah it'd be easier to just redo it all all right so we'll drag out our player reference get mana potions just to show you that it's 
works either way we'll do greater than zero for this one B left click for a branch hook that up and if it's greater than zero then we will find out if our get current mana get max mana and we'll find out if this is less than this so branch so if we do have more than one potion on true we'll find out if our mana is lower than its max because if it's full we don't want to be able to use it or maybe you do then just ignore this part but I always like games that have that little safety precaution like your health is full you can't use that like oh well, thank you I didn't want to waste it so if our current mana is less than our max mana then we will set mana potions get mana potions and we'll do int minus int subtract by one drag out another player ref set oh no not set max mana set current mana to get current mana and also get mana potion potency plus integer or float plus float hook that up there and just like last time we'll find out if it's greater than or equal to max mana B left click get our player ref then we will set our current mana to our maximum set it to the max righteous that should be all it takes instead of having to harvest and craft one I'll just go ahead and set that's not right in our inventory I'll set my mana potions to two that way we can have one extra to make sure it only takes away one so right now I pull my sword out I cast a spell cast another spell just to make sure my mana's not going to regenerate shouldn't do anything good deal alright so in my inventory I'll check I have two potions and now I have one but my mana's full again Also in our inventory screen well we'll do these as part of the equipment screen or after we get the equipment screen set up that way we can track armor level and weapon level but the last thing you want to do is make sure you save all that so good deal if you do like the regen don't forget to hook this back together but if you want it to be where you have to use a potion have at you Alright, thanks again for stopping by. Peace.